Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. And today we're doing a little recap about the last investment that has been sent yesterday inside the Telegram. So if you just have a look right here, you can see that yesterday at literally 1 a.m. here, so it's four hours before in the UK, um, so it was 9 p.m. I sent, I'm getting into a short position on USD CAD. And that was effectively what was happening. So let me get again into an explanation. So why we got involved in that trade. So the first reason is simply because we were touching a major resistance. Okay. That was strongly approved by the daily key level, which is around here. Okay. So what happened is that once it got hit, we also had the correlation with the stochastic that was confirming us. And obviously we had the, the previous highest level that here, the higher high. And here we had like the candle rejection, we can see like the kind of consolidation. And even though with the market trying to push, 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 it was closing under, okay, the resistance, the candle was, but the wick was breaking it. And we had the lovely kind of like shooting star. I mean, I would even say more like a hammer. Uh, we had a hammer, but again, you know, that hammer, doji and shooting star, they all have the same function, which is puppet. So, here we can see that basically it was a very nice entry to get into a cell. And obviously a few hours after you can see that today, we had this major gap that happened on USD CAD. And honestly it was, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. It was a very like easy move to do. And again, look, since the other time, we, we don't trade often that kind of pair. But here it was interesting. So USD CAD was very, very good and very, very profitable for us. Now, what we're going to do is like for those asking me, what should we do? We already took our profit. And as you can see, it has been mentioned here in my group a few hours ago, literally an hour ago. Uh, USD CAD, nothing. And you can see it's hitting our like that would be like the first take profit, second take profit. But again, we have a bullish trend, so it would be risky for us to keep like holding the position. This is why we took our profit and right now we're just going to be waiting. Now let's have a look about other pairs. So we have EURUSD, which has a very pulled back, okay, and very nice retracement. So uh, after hitting this, boom, um, there is absolutely nothing to do. Some people are, I can see on some like groups, like people like where I'm like with like some big traders telling that uh, it's a really nice key point, but look, here we're were got broken, got broken, got broken, got broken, here were, then got broken. So for me, that kind of level is more like kind of betting. I wouldn't personally position myself into a short, which obviously you can, because also we have the correlation with the stochastic right here. But personally, I would avoid that and I wouldn't trade Euro USD. So Euro USD, I would just be, um, so I'm gonna send a message inside the group. It's better to be patient. Patience is key. And again, I know some of you guys, I mean, but Swizzy, normally you're dancing when you're like making up on a trade. Honestly, I do it. But this time, <laughs> I genuinely have no more energy. I swear this weekend, like literally kill me, took everything I had. Euro AUD. So what do we see with that pair? So the first thing, it's obviously to go on the weekly time frame, okay, and let's try to identify what something interesting. Um, there is no real key level right here, as you can see. Uh, we had something like this, but honestly, right now, I don't see nothing like solid, you know, even this, that doesn't make any sense for me. So the rule that I always tell to people is that in case you don't think there is something that makes sense, okay, just don't trade it, you know. Why would you go and like gamble? What, what the fuck is that? Something got dropped. Is it done? Oh yeah. Okay, done. Okay, good. It's done. Um, what I was saying is that when there is absolutely nothing in here, I'm kind of sick. Um, when there is nothing like to trade, just be patient, guys. Right? Just be patient because patience is key in the trading space. Uh, most people think that they're gonna make money over time. Right here, if there is nothing to trade with your AUD, just avoid it. Just avoid it. You know, right now there is nothing, so you just go here, try to go on the lower time frame. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. 
nothing to do so we just go into the next one Alright, so, uh, <laughs> NSDUSD, so let's have a view at NSDUSD and we're gonna mention it inside the group. NSDUSD. USDTHF, you know, so we had this closing here dropped. But this is exactly what I explained yesterday. It was better for us to avoid the pair because it wasn't very safe, but it's, it worked pretty well. Mm. So in case you got inside the trade, congratulations, you made money, but I'm happy I didn't because most of the time those moves they don't break correctly. Mm. I got so many comments on Instagram telling me I'm a kid because I'm drinking this kind of juice. But uh, yeah. I don't know, you know me. So, USDTHF, now let's have a look at GBBJPY. You know, so boom, boom. Nothing to be done. That can actually be fun though. Obviously it's in a lower time frame, but Then we will position ourselves into a bad position. Okay, boom. Okay, Nothing to be fair. Actually, there's not that much that can be done. USD CAD, we already showed it, I think. That's a trade we took. Uh, and as you you would just show your unity we show a UD cat. That's your trade we took. Right now you see it could be a potential buy because basically you have a, like a bullish chain, it's going up, you kinda close the trend. No, it was too close. You could get inside the bar, but I would personally, I wouldn't get in. But yeah, that's basically it for the um, technical analyze that we've been doing. The first trade has been very lucrative, but right now, time to wait and maybe another trade will come soon. Peace.